We worship a being that we call Nehita, which is the same person that the two boys went to visit, Hatha Bajna Aj. We are to also return to our Nehita, our supreme being. When we take our first breath, we let it out in a cry. And then when we pass on into the fourth world, the last thing that we do is we release that atmosphere as we continue our journey into the next world. We have to recognize that Mother Earth is a living being. We don't worship Mother Earth, but we recognize Mother Earth as a living being to speak for these things that create life for us. <laughs> In the uh, presentations of traditional teachings of our people, the uh, comments on that sometimes uh, demand in a way that we let people know that cer certain things that we share with you, uh, we don't want you to misunderstand. One of the things is uh, what do the Dene worship? We don't worship Mother Earth, or we don't worship the sun, or we don't worship anything that is... Uh, in the environment as uh, part of uh, Mother Earth. We worship a being that we call Nehita, which is the same person that the whole two boys went to visit, Hatha Bajna Aj. And the teaching is that we as, are to also return to our Nehita, which is our supreme being. He's the one that watches us by sunlight watches us by moonlight, watches us by starlight, and watches us in the nighttime. The word is very important for our Dene to understand that that means and so they don't want the, the name is so sacred of the Supreme Being that there is no given name that we can refer to that particular being. And so we say things like the one that watches us by sunlight, the one that watches us by the moonlight and starlight and watches us in the night. So it is that we don't say a name. When the Dene were allowed to keep the uh, sacred language, they were uh, given 12 sacred phrases. And these sacred phrases there are made in numbers where they are 4, 8, 12, and so on. Just one example. I'm going to share with you something that is probably... In some cases, people don't accept the idea that we reveal some of these things because they consider them too sacred. But yet it is something that we are told from a very early age that we have to do. And that is the first prayer of the day. And so when that first prayer of the day, we face the direction east, we use corn pollen or we use uh, white cornmeal. And uh, our prayer at that time is to the Supreme Being. And it is that we call him Hitha. The prayer to the Supreme Being is to give thanks for the sunlight. Hayoskat is the way we say it. Hayoskat bahatatzi. And that's what they tell us, and that is what we are told, that you give thanks on behalf of the sunlight and what it does on a, on a daily basis. And then you, Nasam bahatatzi, Bakado bahatatzi, is to say that we thank and extend thanks on behalf of Mother Earth that she is here, that we can place our feet on her, Nihikeya, and that is that we say thank you for Mother Earth, and on behalf of Mother Earth, thank you. Akehe is the expression. And then finally, the third one is Nitsa, which is the uh, rain or snow or hail or dew. These are the things that we have to say our gratitude for. The moisture. We are made up of moisture in many ways. And the is the way they tell us. And then finally, to say thank you on behalf of uh, the atmosphere is that we speak then for a thank you for the sun, the earth, the moisture, and the air, the atmosphere. We are told that that is something that we can say thank you for as well, for when we are born. When we take our first breath, we let it out in a cry. We take in the air, and then it comes out as a cry. And then when we pass on into the fourth world, the last thing that we do is we release that atmosphere as we continue our journey into the next world. So it is that we express our gratitude for the sunlight, Mother Earth, the moisture, and the oxygen, or the air. And sometimes in our traditional teaching, we have um, the word for 
Nikinchi is what we say for the spirit self. The spirit self is a part of us. We are a spirit being when we arrive and we take on a f- physical features of our ex- in our existence and this the third world, but we also are a thinking and then we are also a feeling bit type of being. So there are four areas of our being. And so those four areas of our being have to express gratitude for the sunlight, for the light, and for the Mother Earth, and for the, the moisture, and then for the oxygen, or the air, the atmosphere. Part of those 12 sacred wor- uh, words, just a small part of it, is to speak for these things that we have to, that create life for us. And it is that everything based on the sacred number four, there would be no life if there was no sunlight, there would be no life if there was no earth, there would be no life if there was no moisture, there would be no life if there was no oxygen. So the teachings are very extensive in this, uh, on Mother Earth here. And when we come into existence, we have to recognize that Mother Earth is a living being. And it is that we don't worship Mother Earth, but we recognize Mother Earth as a living being. Because you cannot have life from a thing that is not alive. And those are the things that we are told. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.